It's quite uh, wonderful and it's the floor was okay and uh, all the listeners were really appreciate me and encourage me to do the next one so thank you very much and um, it's actually it's a pleasant um, mo morning today because um, we are going to talk about a wonderful topic everybody day to day life uh, especially for the lay people okay so uh, we will start our uh, dhamma talk by taking five precepts that would be nice okay say three times sadhu, 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 sadhu. okay say three times namo tassa to pay homage to the buddha Follow me. Buddhan Saranang Gachami. Buddhan Saranang Gachami. Dhamman Saranang Gachami. Dhamman Saranang Gachami. Sangan Saranang Gachami. Sangan Saranang Gachami. Dutiyam pi buddhan saranang gachami Dutiyam pi buddhan saranang gachami Dutiyam pi dhamman saranang gachami Dutiyam pi dhamman saranang gachami Dutiyam pi sangan saranang gachami Tatiyam pi buddhan saranang gachami Tatiyam pi buddhan saranang gachami Tatiyam pi sangan saranang gachami Tatiyam pi sangan saranang gachami Panati pata virmani sikka pedan samadhyami Panati pata virmani sikka pedan Adinna dana virmani sikka pedan samadhyami Adinna dana virmani sikka pedan samadhyami Kami sumicca chara virmani sikka pedan samadhyami Kami sumichachara viramani sikhapadam samadhyami Musavada viramani sikhapadam samadhyami Musavada viramani sikhapadam samadhyami Sura Pama Dantana Virmani Sikka Pedang Samadhyami Surami Raya Baja Pama Dantana Virmani Sikka Pedang Samadhyami Say three times Sadhu Sadhu Follow me to honor to be the blessed one, worthy one, fully enlightened one. Sadhu, sadhu.
Okay. So, uh, first of all, I'm taking one minute and I want to thank especially the chief monk of the Buddhist Mahavihara in Malaysia uh, with the permission to say the name most venerable Kirinde Dhammaratara Mahanayaka Tero to giving me this opportunity and giving me the permission to preach in the Buddhist Mahavihara. May he be well, happy and peaceful all the time. May he have long life with full of happiness. Finally, may he attend to the Nibbana. Say three times sadhu. And also I would like to pay my respect all the residential monks who are staying in the Buddhist Mahavihara treating me such a wonderful way just like their own sister. Thank you very much. And also guiding me for, the, for my success, especially my brother and all the other residential monks. Thank you very much. And also I would like to thank uh, the society, Sasana Abhivuddhi Society, especially President, and also the Secretary, Mr. Leslie Jayavadana. Because of him actually, as I mentioned in the last day, because of him actually, I came to the Buddhist Mahavihara in Malaysia. So it, it is very honor and it is really appreciate, appreciated your service, sir. And you are really supporting for the young monks and young nuns who trying to do something to the world with the Dhamma. And, uh, and uh, my special thing I recognize from you, sir, um, you can understand the people very well, very quickly. And once we request something, we don't want to say it twice. So he, he knows that the way how to do it. So I really appreciate it and you make uh, the surrounding of Buddhist Mahavihara to live us to stay actually happily. Thank you very much. So we bless you to have a long healthy life. And I hope that all your retirement will be under the Buddhist Mahavihara in Malaysia. <laughs> and you will give your uh, support to do all the things in here. May you be well, happy and peaceful. May you have long healthy life. And um, my every time once I came to this temple, my mind goes to most venerable, late, later most venerable, the, with the permission to say the name, most venerable Kirinde Dhammananda Mahanayaka Thero, as well as Bhante Punnaji. So these characters make us really wonderful. We go through a lot of books they have written. And I don't think that Actually, we are unlucky. We didn't see them. We didn't meet them. We didn't have time to talk with them. But uh, the, the things they have written in the books still alive and still help us to do the Dharma sermon. So we, we will grant merit for them. May they, may they attend to the Nibbana. Say three times, Sado. Okay. So how are you today? Good? Okay. Did you get angry after listening to my Dhamma sermon? <laughs> yes, oh my God. <laughs> then I, I fail, isn't it? No? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I'm lovely to hear that you are walking in the path. That's how you have to do. Okay, so did you use the techniques? To manage your anger? Good, good. I'm happy. However, today the topic is little different. But I know that inside is definitely anger. <laughs> Every family, once we talking about the topic, definitely the anger will be inside that. However, all right. Today we are going to talk about anger manage, uh, sorry, can marriage go beyond the debt? Okay, that's been very simply, we are talking about the happy married life. And the, the can two partners meet again in the samsaric life? Okay, 
Can I ask a question? Is it okay? So I don't know whether all these um, listeners are married or hoping to marry or you have a partnership, whatever, relationships, whatever. So before that, I'll explain like this. Marriage, once we, the word, when we listen in the marriage, what is the first thing coming to our mind? You know, when I was in the reception today morning, one girl and boy came. Huh? The girl is wearing white dress with the flowers and the boy is wearing white shirt and they told that we came to the, uh, what do you call the? Marriage register. Marriage register. Okay. So once we talk about the marriage, suddenly our mind go to the legal registration, isn't it? We think that marriage is a legal registration, legal bond. Huh? But once we are seeking about the past of our history, especially in Sri Lanka, I'm from Sri Lanka, my native country is Sri Lanka. So once we're seeking of the past of the history of the Sri Lanka, my mother and father <coughs> is legally married. My grandparents also legally married, but my great grandmother and grandfather, they didn't have a legal marriage between them. They had 13 children, 13, one, three, 13 children, but they didn't have a legal arrangement, legal bond with them, okay? But my grandfather never live my grandmother. My grandmother never live my grandfather. So, according to the <coughs> most of the uh, scholars and according to my understanding, so the marriage is a bond. Actually, it's a bond. It can be legal. It can be illegal. Okay? So, normally we give a word Presently for the illegal marriage, living together, isn't it? Living together. Some living together will end with the legal marriages. Some are not. So this marriage can be two parts. Do you agree with, agree with me? Yeah. Huh? If not, you can ha have, we can have a conversation, no problem. Okay. So... Once, even though it's legal, illegal, the marriage is uh, two different people. Two different people going to stay together. Isn't it? So, for example, Mr. Leslie born in a different... Is it okay to take you as a role model? <laughs> because I, I know only you here. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> okay. He born in a different family and build up in a different family did education in a different way and the situation of the family is different tradition will be different now his wife also coming from a different family different and for example different genes huh? so Marriage is keeping together two different people, isn't it? Okay. In here, John Robinson, he's a famous American writer. Okay, famous American writer. Always uh, saying that in the book of the Suchness book, be careful and discreet it is much easier to get married than unmarried if you have the right mate it's heavenly but if not you live in a 24 hours daily held than cling constantly to you what do you think about this hmm? it is See how how it's it's have a, some sort of a, a sense here. It says that, sorry. 
be careful. Ah, you have to be very careful if when you are finding a person to live in together or to have a marriage. Why? If you find the correct person, ah, if you have the right person, it can be a heaven. Ah, you will stay in a heaven every time. But if you find the ah <laughs> the person, the I mean unmatching person. You will be in the hell in 24 hours. Ah, uh, every day you will be in. Ah, uh, so that now ask from your mind: Am I in a heaven? Am I in a hell? You can ask from your mind. Ah, uh, if you have the voice, just cling and ask: you, Are you in a heaven? Ah, uh, or a hell? You can ask. That's what I prefer. Both. Sometimes heaven. Oh my God. <laughs> sometimes heaven. Sometimes hell. Yeah. That's impermanence. See? Buddha's teaching. Huh? Nothing permanent in this world. So sometimes you feel really happy. Huh? Sometimes you feel the worst house. The worst person I have ever met. Isn't it? Okay. Is, is the, your partner, is it okay to ask? Okay. When did you say I love you for the last time? When did you? Oh, I really love you. When? Is it okay to ask? Two weeks. Maybe. Two weeks before? Oh. When did you say to your wife that, I, darling, I love you? <laughs> Two days ago. Two days ago. That's better. <laughs> uh, Sir, if you okay to ask? I don't know whether is it okay to ask. When did you say to your partner that I love you? Never. <laughs> oh my God. So, Singhala? Yesterday. Yesterday. Very good. Okay. Uh, yeah. When did you say to your partner that I love you? Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. Oh my. Okay. See? Now, for example, we'll forget about the married. Once you are, once you having an affair with you, huh? before the marriage, you will have, you have an affair with the partner, you know? Hotship. Yeah. Hotship. Hotship. Hot. Courtship. Okay, thank you for the lay. Hot. Courtship. Am I pronouncing? Okay, courtship. Once you have the courtship with the partners, Daily in the morning, you are saying, Darling, I love you. Okay? <laughs> yes, I love you too. In the, uh, in the night also, you are saying, Once you go, Okay, good night. I love you. So you are saying like that, no? Okay. So, once you get to marriage, hmm? No more. Because you know that every time she is in the house, no? <laughs> that time, she was in her house. Isn't it? Okay? Now, she is with me. Everything getting normalized once you get married. Okay. That's, these are the things that we should understand. Okay. Because, but there are different characters. The male character and female character is different. According to the Buddha, always the females are looking for the love. Even uh, they have the relationship when the marriage or something, they always, they need the attention. Huh? For example, I, so I, I couldn't find the video actually, but once I went to Sri Lanka, I saw a nice video. The wife is cooking. Hmm? The husband is not, the wife, uh, wife saying something, but her husband is not giving the attention. Huh? Suddenly he hear loud sound from the kitchen. So he's going to the kitchen. What happened? Nothing. So I spoke to you. You didn't listen to me. Once I keep the pots in a loud way, you came to the kitchen. That means the sound of the pot is really, what do you call? Uh, really nice to you than my sound. Isn't it? So that's the thing. Once you are sometimes uh, that's 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 Buddha always describing that 
male character and female character is too different. So once you go into the marriage, so you have to think this very carefully. Okay. So Buddha says that charam che nadi gacheya seyam sadisi matteno eka chariyam dalham kaira natti bale sahayata. Shall we say one by one? Okay, for the first one I will. <coughs> Charam che. Nadi gacheya. Nadi gacheya. Seyam. Sadisa matano. Sadisa matano. Eka chariyam. Eka chariyam. Dalham kaira. Dalham kaira. Natti bale. Natti bale. Sahayata. Sahayata. This is come from the Dhammapada, 61 stanza. Okay, today my laptop is little naughty. It's quickly go. I don't know how to go it, going it. Okay, if one is unable to secure one's equal or superior, as a companion to live with, one should familiar resolve to live a solitary life since there should be no association with the unwise. See the Buddha saying that? So, the, I don't think that every relationship will, will be as she told. As that um, lady told, every time we can't find heaven. Every time we can't find hell. So it's a mix of that. The, the main thing is you have to bear everything and be patient every time. Okay? So Buddha says that since there should be no association with the unwise, if you don't find a correct person, if you don't find the suitable relationship, don't associate association with the unwise people, not suitable people. Definitely you will lose. Definitely your relationship will be no longer. Okay? So I'm going to to Forest Sutra Deshana. Okay? Forest Sutra Deshana. It is in Anguttara Nikaya. Uh, in Tripitaka. Anguttara Nikaya. Patama Samvasa Sutra. A-N means Anguttara Nikaya. Okay, it's in Tripitaka, basket of three, uh, discourses, Patama Sangvasa Sutra. Okay, this, in this Sutra, the Buddha says, there are four uh, ways of men and women living together. As a marriage can be, as a living together can be, there are four ways. Once we go one by one this, you, you can think, you can identify which set are you, okay? Which set are you? Okay, the first one. Chavo Chavaya Sadhim Sangvasuti. Shall we pronounce? Chavo Chavaya Sadhim Sangvasuti. A uh, disgust in man and disgust in woman. Okay? In this family life, neither husband nor wife. Okay? The both are not accepting the five precepts. That means they both are doing unwanted things. Don't are not faithful with each other. Okay? Husband having an another uh, engagement and wife having another engagement they they even though they in a one house they are not faithful for the each other okay they the husband having a, another life wife having another life for example they are not respecting to the five precepts we know that if you have if you want to have a moral life Ah, if you have, uh, if you want to have a control life, you should respect to the five precepts as Buddhists. So once you once you get rid from this box, okay, that's mean you have another 
engagements. Okay, so Buddha says that there are family life, there are people who stay in like this. Okay, the wife don't know when his husband coming, the husband don't know where his wife's going. Ah, uh, or who are the people who meet in where where is she? They don't know. So sometimes this this family definitely occurs lot of problems. For example. If children come for this kind of family, what will happen? Huh? Children always helpless because they don't have mother and they don't have father because mother and father have different kind of lives. Okay, so Buddha says these kind of family lives are not success. So don't follow these kind of family lives. Okay, the second one. It's work, I think. Chavo Deviya Sadhim Samvasati. Chavo Deviya Sadhim Samvasati. A disgusting man and goddess. Why do you say that? In this family life, the wife is, the female partner is really good. Uh, she respects the five precepts, she always cares the house and doing all the things of the husband, working and managing everything. But here, the husband is not care about the family life and have engaging with the other things. And re I mean, uh, some families I have identified, the f fifth rule, taking intoxicant. Huh? The fifth rule. Oh. I don't know why. <laughs> it's okay. We'll try to keep it like this, okay? Okay. In some um, family lives, I say, uh, for a, I have uh, that personal experience. Some lady said to me, Mehenin Mahansa, I know that taking intoxicant, having drinks are not good. But you know, my husband is better once he got drinks. <laughs> I ask why? Very funny, singing, uh, dancing. Once I request something, suddenly he will bring that once he was drinking. Okay, I, I, I was really, oh my God, what can, I, what, what can I give the answer then? Okay, because as a Buddhist, as a clergy, I am saying that no, drinking is prohibited. But see, the wives are saying, no, 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 once our husbands are drinks, it's very good. Ah, they are very funny. Okay? So see, the, the sin by having intoxicant automatically acclimate for you. But hmm, when once there are different ways that we make ourselves happy, you know. For example, I make myself happy by reading, by listening to the Dhamma, by doing some Dhamma sermons, by chanting, I may make myself happy. But for example, somebody else make themselves happy by having a drink, association with the friends, can be. Keep that in your mind, but you are happy. don't use your happiness to harm for others. That's how sin's coming intention of that if you drink and come to the house and scold into the people uh, and uh, i mean children the blame into the children and everything the whole family make unpleasant no okay so in here the buddha said there are our family lives the female is really good wife is really good but, hu but hu husband can be discussed in man. So this family also unsuccess. The third one, Devo Chavai Sadhim Sangvasati. The other part of that. Huh? Devio Chavaya Sadhim Sangvasati. A god and a disgusting woman. The husband is very good. Huh? The husband is very good. So observing the five precepts, caring everything and respect to the wives and the children, everyone. But the wife having 
different kind of engagements and not uh, respect to the five precepts okay so five and I basically I know these kind of family lives mainly the blame is going to the children actually because children are really want their mother most of the time they are looking for the mother actually they are always for example in Sri Lanka if we get if we fall down if we get hurt we shouting mother like that we said <laughs> okay so that's the thing we really attach with the mother isn't it so these kind of families also Buddha said no dear devotees if you are having this kind of family it's not success okay the final one the fourth one Devo Deviya Sadhim Samvasati a good a god and a goddess going to live together okay shall we go on devo devo deviya sadhim samvasati so according to the buddha said this is the successful marriage life or interrelationship with each other both have same faith to the same faith and both respect to the five precepts uh, so see when you have these kind of partners your family life will be not like a hell isn't it the once the uh, husband very much know about the wife now we have go through a four family lives okay if you have the partner don't look at your partner's paper okay you can draw a line like this and here write down the best thing you can see in your partner best thing whatever you see in your partner whatever the things the positive things okay the other side you can write the negative things what they have to uh, remag okay the negative things that that you don't like the things you can write here but don't look at don't worry I'm not going to give this your partner <laughs> okay you can write it whenever write down there is a nice uh, technique in psychology hmm? It says that if you are difficult to speak with your partner, huh? if, you, if you are unable to have a conversation in life way in, with your partner, if you want, but if you want to communicate, just write it and give it to them. Huh? You know once, for example, when we are seeking of the past, most of the, our grandparents didn't have phones. Huh? This, on, this technology was not there. They love each other by sharing the letters. I don't know about the Malaysia. It's the same? Yeah. Okay. In Sri Lanka, very past, I mean middle of the uh, 80s, 90s, 90s? Yeah. They exchange their ideas, they love through the letters. Then they are writing everything. Huh? For now, most of the family lives are unsuccessful because of this technology. Once you suddenly got angry, you are putting the messages, I don't want you, I hate you. Don't, please leave me alone, quickly. For example, if you have mm, writing a letter, the anger is reducing. Ah, no, it's not nice to write like that. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm just going. Let it go. That's. The, I heard some incident in Sri Lanka. One girl suicide. Ah, because the boyfriend suddenly get angry and send it. We are going to. We are going to have a breakup. Ah, WhatsApp message. Ah, she thought that. Ah. No, I don't have the relationship with him any longer. And he hanged in the ceiling fan. Huh? Suddenly, the boyfriend came 
in within hour oh i just told it because i got angry with you that's it see the life is end so that's the thing once you once you want to say something to your partner you if you want to correct something of your partner ah uh, sometimes once we get angry we don't know what we are saying what we are doing ah uh, so please write it with somewhere hmm that uh, i don't like this quality of you ah uh, ah uh, but i love this quality of you ah uh, say the positive thing first negative thing later okay okay so i hope that with this workshop will be really useful for you to understand your partner isn't it ah huh? maybe there are um especially in the girls list maybe there are 20 positive 100 negative can be isn't it okay so in singalo vada sutra buddha explained that there are duties of husband towards wife ah uh, according to the buddhism the in singalo vada sutra the buddha say there are duties of husband the first one is by honoring her please respect her because he is the partner of you ah uh, and maybe she is the mother of your children ah uh, you should respect her very firstly by talking ah uh, when she is with you you have to talk in a pleasant way ah uh, you have to respect her second by by not despairing her don't blame her every time ah uh, don't i mean try to neglect her every time ah uh, you know uh, in the uh, last dhamma sermon or site or the sharp um, tool is sharp weapon is the words ah uh, sometimes you can't take it again no once you say something ah uh, so keep that in your mind once you say something be very careful ah uh, because everybody have the sensitive within them ah uh, everybody get hurts okay the third why but not being unfaithful to her the husband should always be faithful to the wife you know once the relationships have long relationship uh, distance relationships ah uh, you might see your husband within one year ah uh, once a week ah uh, maybe um after two years you can see your husband but husband and wife should maintain the faithful with each other ah uh, this is this is very good point you know there will be several kind of people who trying to um get attached with us in wrong way but you should always maintain with you the faithfulness with you okay the next one is by giving authority to her very dangerous no to give authority to the wife isn't it no the household life give all the authorities in household life ah uh, because the wife is the most perfect person who can manage in the house children the house stuff and everything and also finally buddha said husband should buy husband should providing her with the adornments you know the beautiful things clothes shoes oh my god see <laughs> for example when did you give some presents to your wife yeah two week you said i love you two weeks ago oh my god <laughs> say ma good 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 <laughs> two weeks you are very definitely before to ah uh, this one oh nice <laughs> okay so i mean this is the way how stay in happy life ah uh, wives are really love to have different kind of things beautiful things don't you like that your husband is beautiful sorry wife is beautiful see my wife is beautiful we are in nice dress ah uh, we are in lovely jewelry ah uh, that's your wife isn't it okay and also the opposite side buddha again said duties of wife towards husband hmm the first one means by properly organize her work okay 
the wife should organize household life children's life support into the husband for the works and everything so most of the time for asian for example the ancient countries husband going for the work wives staying in the home in sri lanka most of the now actually because of the economic we can't do that but uh, wife should every time wife should uh, support to the husband by being kind to the servants actually not only for the servants here buddha explained like this i took this term because it's uh, clearly mentioned in the sutra but my opinion is not only for the servants all the relations all the people it doesn't matter these relations are coming from the husband side or wife side ha huh? you have you should treat equally for the everybody ah huh? that's what would the said here be kind to the everyone and also but knowing being unfaithful this should be we we every day we are taking five precepts we observe the third precept no i observe the precepts abstain from the sexual misconduct so if you want to have a successful family life if you want to have a happy family life you should be faithful for the partner and also protect uh, protecting the stores that's mean protect wealth and the house stuff and everything manage like that and also by being skillful and diligent in all she has to do so you know in sometimes the ladies are really lazy to do the household activities so some houses are just like hells ah huh? not cleaning always sleeping looking the movies not cleaning the clothes and everything so that's what buddha saying uh, the wives should be skillful active as or and same as diligent in all she has to do uh, otherwise the family will be not success okay when you are coming to the basic teaching of the buddhism okay the everything i have talked before under this category what is the buddha's advice for the happy married life first one very first one is morality ah uh, everybody have to have a self morality with them ah uh, then once you observe five precepts once you have some sort of a morality with you that you discipline we can have another word called discipline no you should maintain self discipline with you if you want to have a married happy married life and also developing a sublime state of mind to each other what do you mean by sublime states very first one is love with each other loving kindness with each other hereafter every day sir don't two weeks before <laughs> every day say your wife that i love you you are so beautiful ah huh? then wife should tell her oh, i love you until your death until your death ah huh? from the starting point to the ending point ending point is your death no until that you should said that thank you very much you are the most lovable person i have met in my life thank you being for a uh, father for my children ha huh? we have lovely married life each other we doesn't matter everybody have ups and downs no in every lives we we will face for the storms in our life but it's okay the main thing is you have to bear and manage the things okay and compassion with each other hmm appreciative joy ah uh, sometimes i can see in some families if a female get little bit smart ah uh, if the wife getting more, wife earning more wife have a good job and wife get the attention from the society sometimes the the appreciative joy is not there no 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 you can't work you have to stay at the home ah uh, like that there are barriers restrictions so no you can think that oh my wife's get 
appreciation from all world because she is mine. Huh? Everybody love her because she is mine. Huh? See how nice is that feeling? Okay, as well as equanimity with each other. So these are really important to have a good marriage, uh, good relationship with each other. And also the other one is understanding. Uh, once you are staying together, you should understand your partner. Uh, what are the favorite things of her? Uh, what are the things that he doesn't like? Uh, so everything you should understand with each other. And also, very definitely, you should maintain the patience. Huh? I know that. Be patient every time. Once husband get angry, wife should be patient. Huh? Once wife get angry, husband should be patient. Huh? So you should maintain that. Tolerance. Hmm? The tolerance is really important to the marriage life. Okay? And the other one, forgiveness. Forgiveness. Huh? Sometimes once you get angry with your husband or wife, you are not going to talk with them. Huh? For a long time sometimes. You are not responding to the phone. You are not putting uh, replies for the messages and everything. So the best thing if you want, because every minute is important. Every minute in this life is really important. We didn't come for this world for the thousand years. Do I? Do we? No. Maximum 85, 100. That's it. More than that we can't live. So quickly forgive. Not for the husband and wife. Everybody quickly forgive. And also gentleness and dedication. These are really important to have a happy married life. Are some of very important and also keep that in your mind. If you practice this within your marriage life, you will be, have the most lovable, lovely husband, most lovely wife in your house. Okay, can marriage go beyond the death? Hmm? So do you like to have your wife in to the next birth? Still I can't say. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so <laughs> very funny. But no no, it's truth speaking. I really love it. Better. Better. <laughs> okay, however, we don't know whether Ah, one life, one life skipping break. one. Need a break. Oh, need the break. <laughs> <laughs> need the break and after that. Oh, what a nice one. Okay. However, we don't know whether my wife or my husband will be the same person in the next life. But you can have this Kalyana Mitra in samsara, good friend. It's kind. We don't know whether she will be your husband. Oh, she will be your wife or he will be your husband. However, you can have the same person in your sansaric like we call Kalyana Mitra. That means good person. As a good, meet you as a good person. Huh? It doesn't matter. Maybe he or she can be your friend. Huh? Mother, father, whatever, sister, whatever. The very first thing you have to cultivate together same faith, Sama Sadha we call. If you want to have the same relationship beyond the dead, both of you have to cultivate together same faith, Sama Sadha. Uh, that means every, every time you should do something with the faithfulness. For example, uh, today both want to give a Arms giving to the monks. Do the, with the same faith. Uh, believe, same beliefs, for example. Same beliefs, okay? The second one, same moral discipline. Very important. Samasila. If you want to have your partner in next life, please practice same moral discipline. Uh, respect your ethics. Uh, respect to the five precepts. And also same generosity 
samachaga hmm? there are families husband like to do lot of charities but wife doesn't like sometimes wife likes to do lot of things but husband doesn't like so if you want to have if you want to have the same person beyond the dead please practice same generosity oh shall we do a charity service yes we can do together we'll do in our level we can do ah huh? like that okay same wisdom sama prajna ah huh? that's mean you should cultivate your mind in same with the same wisdom so we don't know whether we will get the same husband or wife but you you can have the same good friend kalyana mitra in your next birth so these are the main reason causes for the unhappy marriage life reasons for the problems be respect with each other if you want to have a good marriage life please respect your partner less communication ah once you don't have good communication with each other you will quickly misunderstand the things no 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 i didn't mention that no no you told like that because don't know the don't have correct communication good communication with each other next when financial problems actually sometimes it's get problem the marriage problems financially if you're not stable sometimes you get lot of problems and also sexual problems we know that every marriage life uh, the ultimate goal is to have a next generation and had to be have a sensual pressure okay so sometimes if you are not satisfied from your partner it's it's make the marriage life unhappy isn't it and also less understanding and misunderstanding both okay these are the causes for the unhappy marriage life okay two different things they are saying if someone cannot find a suitable person to lead a noble family life it is all right to live a single decent life rather than living a miserable life ah that's true no ah if i if i can't find somebody suitable person ah better that live alone buddha also saying that if you can can't find a same uh, friend for you you can stay alone okay and same as again my understanding is in down love or marriage is not about finding the right person it is about creating a right relationship maybe sometimes you won't get the right person but you can try to build up right relationship with each other for example as i mentioned earlier there are no equally uh, matching two people in this world isn't it ah huh? we are built up in two ways so marriage is a trying to keep different people together okay so maybe once you going to live together you will understand this person have different uh, attitudes different qualities than i ex- i expect ah uh, except ah uh, so uh, but however hmm try to uh, create the right relationship that's that's what we know forgiveness patience tolerance our uh, understanding these are really important for this stage okay so sir one day your wife will uh, say with somebody you know that i am really happy because i have the best partner in this world are you happy if she say like that Me. yeah yeah many happy okay sir if you think that one day your end of the i mean the whole journey then now we are getting old all the day by then no you are not old i'm mean, sir, just saying that okay once you go um, for for example 
you will you might have grandchildren now like that if your uh, wife said that you know that uh, you are the best partner who i have ever met you be will be really happy no yeah uh, see that's what that is the main that's the thing that uh, we can earn from a happy married life ah uh, to try to take that from your partner ah uh, maintain these good qualities within your marriage life ah uh, no as i mentioned earlier we are not going to stay for a long time ah uh, going for a divorce is easy very easy going for the legal action is easy hmm but having a happy marriage life is really hard okay so but going for a divorce and going for a other relationships can be quite easy but don't don't you feel that you have the same happiness the previous happiness over there we don't know ah uh, we think that uh, first uh, first marriage i thought that i got this good person once i leave it together i i understood oh i can't leave this person i'm leaving i'm going to have the divorce again i will find a person then i think ah uh, this is the most suitable person okay just like the previous one okay again i'm going to have a relationship and live with them and once it is it's okay but it's work together if not again i think oh i can't leave this person it's not matching ah like that so when you are going to end this ah when we are going to end this so the best thing is trying to maintain good relationship trying to create a right relationship with each other nobody perfect in this world than arahant that's my motto my logo i always say everybody in this world nobody perfect in this world than arahant everybody can make mistakes everybody can have, have some sort of a different things it's okay we will try to make them together and keep your our family happy okay so, all right uh we will do a small meditation session to calm down our mind ah huh? pay loving kindness to your partner okay we will pay loving kindness to our partner today hmm all right close your eyes everyone and take a long breath put it down take another long breath put it down recite me after may we be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to us may no harm come to us may no difficulties come to us may no difficulties come to us may no problems come to us may no problems come to us may we always may we always have patience Have courage, courage, understanding, understanding, and determination, and determination to meet and overcome, to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties, inevitable difficulties, problems and the failures, problems and the failures in our life. In our life. Okay think about this from your mind
Keep your palms together. <coughs> Bhavetu sabbe mangalam Rakkantu sabbe devata Sabbe buddhanu bhavene Sada sutti bhavantu te Bhavetu sabbe mangalam Rakkantu sabbe Bhavene Sanda Sutti Bhavantu Te Bhavetu Sambhe Mangalam Rakkantu Sambhe Bhavene Sada Sutti Bhavantu Te Say three times Sado 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 Okay, I'm so happy to um, preach you today it was more than one and a half hours. I didn't see the time even. I'm sorry, I took half hour more. So, however, uh, please follow these things in your house. Then, I mean, especially for the uh, younger generation and teach them these things to your children also. Then, so they will have a happy married life, okay? And thank you for coming for my Dhamma talk today. And I would like to grant merits for the, all the gods and the people who died on behalf of your names and on behalf of Buddhist Mahavihara. We will grant merit for them, all of them. Keep your hand. May they attend to the Nibbana. May they free from all the cankers in their samsaric journey. Ittavata ca ammihi sambhitam punya sampedam Sambhidiva numudantu sambhi sampatti sittiya Ittavata ca ammihi sambhitam punya sampedam Sambhi bhuta numudantu sambhi sampatti sittiya Ittavata ca ammihi sambhitam punya sampedam Sambhi satta numudantu sambhi sampatti sittiya Say three times sadhu Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu So I would like to grant this message to the chief monk, most venerable, with the permission to say the name most venerable Kirinde Dhammaratana Mahanayaka Hamran Mahanse Mahanayaka Thero and all the residential monks who are staying here, may they, be, may they will be well, happy and peaceful. May they have long, healthy life and may they attend to the Nibbana as they wish. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And also I would like to grant this merit to the late, later monk who are staying here. Most Venerable, with the permission to say the name, Kirinde Dhammananda Mahathera, as well as Bhante Punnaji, who did excellent service to the Malaysian Buddhist. We will grant all these males to them. May they attend to the Supreme Nibbana. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. And from the merits we have accolade today, I would like to bless you all to have a long healthy life with full of happiness may you all be well happy and peaceful always may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you and your family members 
may no problems come to you may you have all the health and happy life and may you attain to the nibbana sadhu 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 okay i'm blessing for you abhivadana silis nicham vadhapachayino chattaro dhamma vadanti ayuvannu sukham balam ayurarogya sampatti sag sampatti mevach ato nibbana sampatti iminati samichchatu Oh, so, so. Thank you. Thank you. May the Ripa Jam bless you.